Varroa mites are often called the most dangerous threat to honeybees worldwide. But where do they come from and how do they manage to invade nearly every beekeeping region on earth? The story begins in Asia where Varroa mites originally evolved alongside the Asian honeybee, Apis serrana. For thousands of years, they lived in balance. The mites fed on bee larvae, but the bees fought back. They groomed one another, removed infected brood, and limited the mites mostly to drone cells. This balance meant that Varroa was a parasite, but not a killer. That balance changed when humans entered the story. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, European honeybees, Apis mellifera, were introduced into Asia for honey production. These bees had never faced Varroa before. They lacked the defenses of their Asian cousins, and when the mites made the jump, the European bees collapsed. Entire colonies were wiped out. From there, global trade carried the mites further and further. By the mid-20th century, infestations appeared in Russia. In the 1960s and 70s, Varroa spread across Europe. By the 1980s, it had reached the Middle East, Africa, and South America, and by the late 1980s, it invaded North America as well. Today, Varroa mites are almost everywhere honeybees exist, with only a few isolated regions, like parts of Australia, still untouched. The reason for this rapid spread is simple. Modern beekeeping depends on moving bees across borders. Hives are shipped for pollination, honey production, and breeding programs, and the mites always came along for the ride. Each new region had no natural resistance, and local bees suffered devastating losses. So, where did Varroa mites come from? The short answer is Asia. But the deeper story is about us, about human movement, trade, and the unintended consequences of introducing species to places they were never meant to be. Today, beekeepers everywhere fight to keep colonies alive in the shadow of Varroa, Treatments, selective breeding, and scientific research are all part of the battle. And while the struggle continues, one lesson remains clear. A tiny mite from Asia has reshaped the history of beekeeping across the globe.